Today, state police crime lab experts showed the I-Team how they're implementing a new system. Investigators say it will streamline the process of analyzing DNA. All of this after the I-Team exposed more than 750 backlogged murder cases. I can be on the computer seeing what Kerry's doing as he's doing it. It's called the Laboratory Information Management System, or LIMS. Illinois State Police say it's a more efficient way to effectively process crime data in Illinois state laboratories. Starting at the crime scene, investigators use iPads or crime pads to take pictures and record and process the crime scene, cutting down on an otherwise slow paper process. A receipt is printed, that along with the evidence then comes into the intake area to be scanned. Once I see that the evidence is in good condition, I can receive the evidence into our new limb system. Then it's brought back to the lab for analysis. Plastic bag containing powder. The new system was implemented in December of 2018. In November of 2018, the I-Team first told you about the 750 plus backlogged murder cases from the last three years. Shortly after, Illinois legislators held public hearings. ISP lab officials told them the total forensic backlog of all crimes was close to 14,000, and more than 3,600 of those cases are DNA related. Today, Governor Pritzker pledged to reduce the backlog. What do you want to say to the families that are waiting on the results to come in? They shouldn't have to live that tragedy uh, also through a delay in the forensics and the delay in the processing of cases. And that's one of the reasons that we're so dedicated here. The LIM system, this particular system, will allow local law enforcement and the over a thousand agencies that the Illinois State Police provide forensic services to, to have a better understanding of where the particular forensics analysis process is, is going with a particular case. ISP also says it will also implement new technology of rapid DNA, which can sometimes be used to dramatically cut down the processing time of certain DNA samples from suspects. In addition, the crime lab says it has hired more forensic scientists and conducted more staff meetings. Jason Knoll. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.